Are you a muzzleloader newbie or a black powder pro? I'm a newbie. Let's take a look at this CVA Optima V2 and let me know in the comments if you agree with my assessment or do I need to get spanked with the old ramrod? All right, enough screwing around. Let's go over the specs of this thing and just a little bit of history. So the CVA Optima has been around in one form or the other since 2002. So we're going on 20 years of this thing being in the woods. And as far as I can tell, looking on various websites and reading reviews, it is one of, if not the most popular muzzleloaders on the market today and has been for quite some time, which really says something about it. And as far as specs go, this particular rifle is the model that comes with the integral scope mount. It's got a 26 inch stainless steel barrel and it weighs 6.6 .6 pounds. There are other versions out there. This is the one that I picked. Let's talk about the pros and cons as I see it right out of the box. All right, first, as far as pros go, the functionality of this rifle is incredible. Everything is really easy to use. It's well engineered. To crack it open, all you do is pull back on the trigger guard here. That opens it up, gives you direct access, direct access to the breech plug. Um, the breech plug has a knurled rim. You can just unscrew that and screw it back in with your hand. I actually tightened it down pretty good with the little tool that they give you, so I actually can't take it out without the tool, but if you don't do that, you can take it in and out without the tool. It also comes with a little hammer spur, which is reversible in case you're left-handed, so it is an ambidextrous rifle. Um, the same goes for the buttstock. It has a cheek swell on both sides, so that's really nice for the lefties out there. And then it also has molded in sling studs, which are kind of cool. I mean, I guess time will tell how durable these are, but it's nice that they're there. All right, the next pro I have is the feel. It just feels really, really good. It feels good when you shoulder it. It's balanced really well. It's not tiring to hold up like this. Um, the checkering on the stocks, of course it's just pressed in, it's plastic polymer, but it's nice and sharp. Not sharp like it's gonna cut you, but sharp like it gives a good grip purchase. So that's really nice. Uh, the pistol grip, I find it's, I have really, really big hands and there's plenty of space here for that. I don't think you would be hindered if you have small hands either, so that's definitely a pro. Um, another pro in terms of feel is the ramrod comes with this little rubber padded end, so when you're loading down the barrel, you're not just shoving on the end of the rod and jacking your hand up, so that's kind of nice. And then the last pro, as far as just looking at it right out of the box, right off the bat, is I assume durability, I guess time will tell. It's got the stainless barrel, black plastic polymer stocks the stocks feel very very solid the four stock feels like it's not hollow which is nice the butt stock i'm sure it's hollow but it seems substantial i mean i've handled some guns where they have plastic polymer stocks and they just feel cheap this doesn't really feel cheap it feels durable um again time will tell but i'm liking it so far all right, now it's time for the cons. It's time for the bad stuff. All right, I got it up here on the workbench for the cons to show you a little better. Don't worry about the Mini 14 right there. We'll talk about that later. But the first thing I noticed right out of the box is, hopefully the camera won't focus on my finger. So you see that hole right there, and then at the end of the barrel, that hole right there. So it has the threaded holes for the open sights if this were to be the open-sided model, but it is not the open-sided model, so they should plug those straight from the factory or don't cut them into the barrels that are meant for the ones that come with a scope mount. That is, I mean, a little bit unsightly and I think a little bit ridiculous. And the next con, which was a really big deal, so here we have the scope mount that comes with a the rifle. There's nothing wrong with the scope mount in and of itself, but I went ahead and checked the torque on the mounting screws that mount it down to the barrel and I'm glad that I did before I ever tried to screw around and put a scope on it because every single one of these mounting screws and then there's one more that goes through the front ring was extremely loose I'm talking like 10 inch pounds they were barely in there I can't believe that that's that's silly um, if someone were to just mount a scope on this right out of the box and not check the torque on those screws, they might not ever even be able to zero the gun because it would just be wobbling around all over everywhere every time you shot. So that's kind of ridiculous. 
Yeah, so what I went ahead and did on those scope mount screws is I just took them out one at a time. I put a little bit of purple Loctite, that's the really weak Loctite, on each one as I took them out and put them back in. And I torqued them down to 25 inch pounds. That's what CVA recommends for the screws to actually go down into the barrel. And then for the ring screws that actually mount the scope in the rings, those are supposed to be 20 inch pounds, which I'll do whenever I put the scope on. But I went ahead and checked that. I'm glad that I did. If you get one of these rifles, a CVA Optima, or any rifle at all, whether it's a muzzle load or center fire, rim fire, whatever, and it comes with an integral scope mount, I implore you, check the torque on those scope mounts because it might just barely be on there. All right, my last con, my last grievance with this rifle is with the breech plug that comes with it. So if you want to shoot Blackhorn 209 powder, which is pretty much the most popular black powder you know, substitute going right now, you cannot shoot it with the breech plug that comes with the rifle. You have to get a separate breech plug specifically for Blackhorn 209. So I'm going to unscrew this and show you because this is the Blackhorn 209 breech plug. I went ahead and got it before I ever shot the gun because that's all I have is Blackhorn 209. So if you'll see right there, it says Blackhorn right in the, uh, the back of the breech plug. That way you know that uh, that's what this one is. And the difference is this big hole in the middle that goes way down in there, that lets the Blackhorn fill the cavity in this breech plug so it fills it all the way down so that when you got your 209 shot shell primer and it goes off, it ignites that powder right away. On the regular standard breech plug that this rifle comes with, it doesn't have this big hole drilled all the way down there. It just has the little flash hole um, relatively close to the top of this breech plug, which I guess works for everything except Blackhorn 209. I really wish CVA would just include this breech plug with the gun uh, that way you don't have to buy it separately and, well, there well, that went, and I'm getting the uh, anti-seize all over my hands. All right, I'm going to be real with you. I only got this thing so that I can have two more weeks of deer season. That's the only reason. But now that I have it, I'm really excited to play with it, play with different loads, take it to the range, see how accurate it is. Stay tuned for that because I'm going to record that, bring my targets back. We'll talk about what loads shot great. So if you're interested in getting one of these, you want to keep watching the channel. I got a lot of videos coming out. You can follow along my journey because I'm a beginner with this muzzle loader. We'll see what it can do. Maybe it'll get you into it too. And if you like the video, if it helped you in any way, give it a like, comment down below what you think about the CVA Optima V2. Do you have one? What's been your experience? Have you taken a deer or something with it? Let me know. I'd love to know. And visit my website, masonleather.com. I make cartridge cuffs, slings, cartridge wallets, all kinds of cool stuff for hunters. I use it myself in the field every year. Check it out. I'd love to make you something.